My name is Rita Nakashima Brock. I'm a licensed minister in the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. I also have a membership with the United Church of Christ. I came to the United States at six years old from Japan. And I remember the bullying and the name calling um, and getting punched and things because I was Japanese. And there was a lot of hatred of Japanese in the 1950s in the United States. So I spent all of my grammar school years and high school years trying to be as American as possible, which was to pretend that I was blonde and white as much as possible and to try not to call any attention to my own ethnic heritage. And it was an amazing experience for me when I went to college and I um, had friends who were Japanese Americans who took pride in it and helped me begin to understand that. So I got involved with movements for racial justice when I was in college, and because I was in those movements, I had gay and lesbian friends who came out to me. And I didn't really understand their struggles until they explained them to me, but at that point I knew I needed to be an ally with them because our experiences were so similar of uh, being bullied and trying to fit in uh, and feeling like something was really wrong with ourselves. So I made a commitment to all kinds of justice issues while I was in college and um, continued to try to educate myself as a heterosexual about uh, issues that gay and lesbians face. And I made a commitment in the mid-1980s when um, I learned that there were gays and lesbians who were ministers that I would never belong to a church that didn't have a gay or lesbian minister. So the first church that I had a lesbian minister, the church didn't know it. I knew it because um, we, we knew each other well. And um, I, I'd never asked her, but I basically suspected it because of the friendships that she had. And eventually she did come out to the congregation. But by the time she did, she'd been such a good minister for so long that they sort of shrugged and said, oh, well, that's fine. That's how Maureen is. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, and, the, and she's still there. She's been in the same congregation doing effective and great ministry for 25 years. So I know that sometimes you start out and you're not sure, but it does get better um, because people do want to love other people. And even when they're scared, I've been in churches where the minister was a gay or lesbian and there were members of the church who grew up thinking that it was wrong, and they weren't sure how they felt about it. They still were struggling with it, but they were in the church because they felt like they needed to try to understand, and because they loved their minister, even if they didn't understand why they were a gay or a lesbian. And that's part of the life, my experience of part of the life of the church is that there are lots of good people who don't understand and they struggle with it, but they believe that part of a God's call to love all people means that they have to stay in the struggle and try to understand. And, uh, and they understand that it's a personal issue for them, that they don't express hatred toward gays and lesbians. They're just trying to understand, and they're puzzled about it. Um, and they, but they stay in that conversation, and that's been really important. And so for the last, I don't know, 15 years, I've had out lesbian gay pastors in every church I've been in, and, uh, and I've been in churches that and visited churches that welcomed gays and lesbians. And I remember in the early 80s how it was a growing movement of a few churches that said, we are open to gays and lesbians. And now there are so many churches. And you may live in a part of the country uh, where churches are not open to gays and lesbians. But if you can survive and, and really believe in yourself and hang in there, you will find that there's a wider world where there are many people of faith, not just Christians, but many people of faith who understand that gays and lesbians are God's children and that we're all equal in the eyes of God and will reach out and love you just like they love everyone else. So it does get better. Don't give up.